Hey everyone, welcome back to another week of GeoGuessr with Hobby Fist here. Um, let's get right into it. Start challenge. We know the rule. Four minutes, five rounds. Guess where we are in the world. This person needs to wipe better, I think. Oh, wrong side of the sign. So, how's everyone doing? Hoping you're having a good day, week, month, year. Whenever you're watching this. Or you're about to watch, about have a good day, I don't know. Where is this going? This is a tech where Jesus is driving. He's finally taken hold of the wheel. Good for him. This thing needs to get off the wind. You need to wipe this, buddy. You need to have, like, the, uh, that thing that those, uh, IndyCar drivers have, or dirt track drivers have, where they have, like, a little continuous layers of plastic over their helmet, and when it gets covered in crap like this, they just, uh, peel it off. On to the next one. This, again, I feel like is probably Brazil. Just because the other option is... Australia or South America, uh, South Africa, and this doesn't look South Africanese to me. So, well, this is a. That's a Nissan, okay, never mind. <laughs> Unless this is a, uh, part of Mexico, I don't know. Although that sign makes me feel like it's Europe. This is either gonna be good or bad. That's the dumbest observation I think I probably could have made. There is only going to be a good or a bad. There is no in between with this. You're either going to get Leste. Is this near Timor? Crap, is this, is this Spain? Why do I feel like now this is... I don't think we're going to pass this truck because it would be super helpful if I could. And this thing right here is really starting to bug me. Come on. Come on. This motorcycle's going to pass. Oh, we're passing now. That's a Rio. Come on, let's 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 get a little closer. Oh, well, that answers that. It says Rio on it. Rio Bronco. I'm not near the there we are, there's the country. This is pretty it looks like it's uh temperate climate just because of the way the grass and the trees are, but this is definitely like jungle. It's just open air. Combo where is the Ridgibles? Patos de Minas. I don't know. Um, wait, Patos de Minas? That sounds like a thing here. Just gonna see if I can't find a state first. Because I doubt I'm gonna find exactly where this is, so. I'm gonna say, just for the sake of saying, because I have a giant country to click here. That we're in Bahia, Bahia, and I really would like to have somebody from Brazil like look at one of these videos. Okay, this is how you can tell this is this is this part of the country, because I the same with Russia. No, I it's like yeah, I got the ooh, wait wait I got the country. M G B R two. Okay, ooh, here we go. I never zoomed in this far because this country is so friggin' huge. Well, there's 251. I got 20. I doubt I'm going to get... Wait, 262, 251. How far can I zoom out? Okay, there it is. 262. Oh, my Christ. This is a long route. So I'm going to click, like, right here and see how... I'm going to make this smaller so I don't actually screw myself. Make guess! Hey, I think that's probably the best I could have done. I clicked up here. I finally found a street road, a street road, a, a road sign. I'll give it four stars just this once, Brazil, because I think you wore it this time. However, this Australian slash North Central American one, this is garbage. This is garbage, kid. Can't see nothing. Is this a railroad track or a storm drain? Probably a storm drain. Wow, this is bad. These are the fun, well, funnest. These are one of the most now I'm like screwing myself over trying to figure out how to actually say this sentence. <laughs> These type of roads are quite fun to drive down. That's probably the proper way of saying it. It's a road good, fun drive down, yeah. Just because when you look behind you, you can get all this dust kicking up and you're like, yeah. 
I feel like a rally car driver. Well, badass, I should like pull the e-brake and fishtail around the corners even though I'm not driving a rear-wheel drive car. So, I just feel like, so I don't forget to click, we're going to be here in South Dakota. We're going to find out how terribly wrong I am. This is real crap image quality. And again, I don't know how far ago, long ago, excuse me, I mentioned this before. But certain parts of the U.S. have not had their images updated in a very long time. Mainly just because I think no one comes here. I mean, granted, this is 2017 Google all over the place on the image. I don't think they came here in 2017. Or if they did, they used... 1998's camera doing it. Because that's probably all they could find there. That's not what I mean. I'm not meaning to insult the great state of... Central Americana. But... We're on a highway or a route of some sort, and I'm hoping in the next two minutes I'm gonna get either one of two things, better quality, or a street sign I can actually read. Because... This is all flat with some mountains over there. This could very well be anywhere from here all the way to, like, here. Like, these couple of states. Maybe New Mexico, but mostly, like, this region. I'm sure it's got, like, some fancy name I haven't thought of that, like, four or five geographers came up for... Not contiguous, but, like, con no, contiguous group of states are called whatever. Like, up here, this is New England. This section here... This is just stay away because it's too muggy. This is hot as fuck. But it's a dry heat, so our ovens, you don't want to be in those. Um, earthquakes and there be rain, basically. In the center, it's just like, no one's come here. We've kind of made these states, but we didn't bother actually going to see if it makes any sense. Like, some of these things. This is a river, so rivers are pretty handy boundary markers. This is like, fuck, I'm tired of drawing states. Let's have a couple of squares, yeah. No one's gonna get mad at me. And then I'll... At least then someone came like, yo, quit your shit. Actually, like, do some work with your states. And like, fine, alright. He yelled at him halfway through this state. And was like, alright, I'll follow a river. Make you happy. And then, as far as these ones... These have been around for a while. It's just, they had to fill in the middle here with like, well, we bought all this land, what are we gonna do with it? I don't know, make... Why did we pull over to the side of the road? Is this good enough quality to see any license? No, we're not going to see any license plate stuff. Now I feel like this may be farther to the west. Because this could be any of these. I'm just kind of clicking here to hedge my bets. Because I don't want to be too far away from over here. And I feel like this is going to encompass enough states in it. And I won't be too upset with it. Yeah, okay. So, the actual mid the wife's tale of no one lives in Wyoming was proved not entirely correct because we should see one truck. Three stars, I guess. Oh, God, this... You know, I get one decent um, Brazil one, and then they're like, all right, we're going to let you have one, but we're going to fuck you over for the rest of these because they're doing a very good job of not being able to make out any of this. Nope. Well, we're next to a certain type of body of water, and we're in America, I'm going to say again. This isn't Great Salt Lake, because I really don't have a good reason why not. But goddamn, get some better cameras again. Can't make anything out. No, I said backwards. This is, this is the Supper Club, huh? India Head Supper Club. I don't know why I don't feel okay hanging out in a place called the Supper Club. It's like they didn't really try all that hard to come up with a name, or they just asked their kid, and for some reason the kid was just stuck in a loop saying Supper Club over and over again because they just learned those words. And they're like, all right, what are we going to name our uh, restaurant? Um, Supper Club. Like, oh, God damn it. I promised my wife I was going to do whatever he said for the restaurant, and I guess we're calling it the Supper Club, and now he gets shit on by all of his friends, but he's like, Supper Club? I was like, yeah, shut up. This type of sign is for a 
national park of some sort. You can usually tell why is this why is the camera listing? I'm getting okay, that kind of made me woozy for some reason. We are in America. But going back to those type of signs, if you usually see a brown sign with white painting on that, it is a national forest or park of some sort. And I am not gonna get very much luck with any of these pictures because Woodborne bread. I would not eat wood bread. No, thank you. Give me a sign I can read. Come on. Come on. No, Jesus Christ. No, I'm in at 50. I got nothing except the American flag. Ooh. Now I can, Did the quality get better or am I just going blind? I can't tell. I'm a bit concerned. I think I'm just willing this to be better. L&M, that's a type of Mack truck or tow truck company. They do have billboards, so that does rule out a couple of states. However, this still could be northeast U.S., I feel like. Granted, this I, it could be really anything, but I feel like these types of barns, the painting, the, the, the paint style. Why is this camera like? It feels like it's wonky as fuck. And it's, it's like, I feel like either my head has been listing this entire time and I'm just noticing it now, or this camera is about to fall off this car. Because I don't like the way this thing is moving. Well, before I forget, I'm just going to say Pennsylvania just to say Pennsylvania. I don't, I honestly don't know. This camera quality isn't good. All I've seen is Indian head. And Indian head is kind of a, maybe generic enough Americana name that I'm not really sold on it being anywhere just yet. Uh, but this camera quality. Two straight bad camera quality ones. I guess I can't be mad for a company spending all of its time and resources like photographing the entire roads all over the entire world and some hiking ones. And for some stupid reason inside of buildings just in two countries alone. Oh, 10 seconds. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I just saw Illinois. Click. Uh, okay, whatever, whatever. I just saw the state at the last second. But that was generic town anywhere here. I just got lucky seeing that. Oh, Christ. Well, remember what I was just saying before? Oh, wait, no, never mind. We're not stuck in a... We're not stuck in a spot. All right, so... What do I see here? I see a mosque, and I see palm trees. And then I see... Um, Tesseran Mojan Nurut Rajam. I feel like this is the largest Muslim country in the world. Just basing this to start with, this can change very easily. But I believe um, Indonesia is the biggest Muslim country in the world. I'm going to click here just for now and see if I'm proven wrong anywhere yet. I need to see some, uh, well, U.S. Aya Pingir Jalan. That's not helpful. Signature Mile. They sell cigarettes here, apparently. Uh, give me... No, this doesn't help me. Like, I don't know. Like, you know dollar signs U.S. The Euro has the... Yeah, it's the E. Like, I saw a currency symbol there. I don't know what it stands for, so that doesn't help me. This is... Nothing. Nothing that helps me. But there's a sign here. Maybe. Uh, nope. This 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 is still pretty uh difficult. Oh, we're weaving through traffic here. Okay. We're kind of getting outside the town now, so I don't. Or are we? Or is that just a, like a little strip of land here? Uh, all right. Now I have to start hoping that there's dom domain names on these signs. Maybe that'll help me. Elok Manang. Min Nang. Wonder what you sell. Some tasty street food, it looks like. If you were ever worried, let me give another travel tip or advice. Oh, I'm not seeing any country stuff there. A lot of people will like be like, well, why are you gonna go eat street food there? And it like you're gonna get sick and uh food poisoning and everything. It's all nasty garbage food. Like, 
First off, maybe... Oh, Malboro, huh? Filter black, fancy. Um, a good word of advice. If there's a bunch of people at this one street cart, there's a lot of people eating it, chances are it's probably really good food. And I wouldn't be too concerned about the quality of it. Granted, you know, maybe they've gotten used to the water, the type of food there, and they'll be a little probably better off intestinal-wise. But honestly, you'll be fine. A good sign of something being good and in business is a lot of people keep eating there. So you're out there having some walk in the street. You see a like a million people in front of a stall. Chances are it's pretty good food. And yeah, maybe you should go check it out. Because... Even if it's just like indiscriminate meat stick, like I don't know what this is. It probably isn't that bad. I mean, you eat hot dogs, and you kind a lot of people are kind of willfully ignorant of what's in them, but it's still pretty good. I'm hoping this kind of looked like it would have been a school, and I'm hoping the school would have had a flag, but this one does not. Oh, what do we got? What do we got? This is an election of some sort. It feels like go car feels like it's like strong leadership strong smile strong essence i don't know i'm not seeing faraxi and that's not farsi farsi is is that a type a, a sub sect of uh muslim i can't remember it's or no it's a country isn't it no it's a city oh i was right okay it was the right country but I didn't see anything. Did it? Did it say? Oh, did I see a Madan? I don't know. I'm an old person. I for, I like. I'm imagining. I'm. I'm seeing and or hearing things. Well, this is not Russia. This is, I believe, Poland. Just because there's that little accent above here, that is Christian. It's not Orthodox. Okay, so can I see in Poland Budero anywhere? Nothing this far. I'm going to zoom out a bit. This feels like it's a small enough town. It's probably not going to show up here. I'm just going to do a quick view. And if I can't see it over this um, map size, I will go smaller and actually start looking. Okay, it seems small enough that I'm not going to see anything. But yeah, thank you. But I've been lucky the past couple of times as far as seeing street information in Polish roads that it was really easy to actually find where I am. I don't know if I'm going to be this fortunate this time, but I feel like this is Poland. Ooh, 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 we saw. What do we see? I saw a thing. Grodek. All right, let's look for Grodek. This may also be Pol uh, Czech. I feel like it's going to be this part of the world. Grodek, huh? Let's look a little bit more. East Prussia? This is still part of Russia. I don't understand why. I probably should for all oh, this Borzo or I forget. I don't know what the little dat uh, slashes above the O's are for. I can just tell you that. Oh, well, there's a crackle. The, the little line to the L. I've mentioned that before. Um, I'm going to click here because this could be. Maybe over here, too? I don't know. I'm not entirely sh sold. But I'm gonna go this way. Actually, wait, that's Grodek that way. Never mind. I'm gonna... This feels like... Wait, wait. That was a highway. Two minutes. I think I'm gonna nail it here. I'm pretty confident now. B13. Or is it 813? 813. Let's see. How far do I gotta zoom in to see these things? Uh, well, I'm not... Oh, there we go. 401. 414. Where am I? Um, zoom in a bit more. Oh Christ, this is uh, this is way in. We're going deep here, folks. Um, Eight thirteen. Let's go down in this corner. We got the four seventies, forty nines, forty one. Where am I? I'm getting lost. Okay, we're gonna go look in this corner because maybe they have some sort of logic. Nine eighty seven. Uh, 875, 861, 858. I'm going to click here before I cannot find it. 835, 48. We're close. I just feel like I'm getting myself lost in the direction I'm supposed to, like, 
Oh, 812. Um, come on. There's 812. I know I gotta be close. 816. 812. 819. 820. 816. 812. Come on. Come on. Oh, here we go. 813. Look for Grodno or whatever it was called. Or, wait, wait. The town name, Burado. I clicked. Look for a Burado. I'm feeling it. 16 seconds. Come on. Burado, Burado, Burado. Burdo. Bresni, Krasov, Shaliki, Drelo, Loki. I'm going to click here. Rudno. Oh, I was pretty close. I always like the Polish ones. I somehow feel like I can nail these. Oh, it was down there. All right. View summary. Oh, my Christ. Did pretty well this time. Even with really awful imagery. A Brazilian one. And I just went off that those two clues of Muslim palm trees and thinking it was Indonesia. Uh great start. Two one six twenty. Twenty twenty one thousand six hundred and twenty if you're not a uh idiot and know how to pronounce things better. <laughs> but hey, I'm glad uh good start to the week. Um yeah. Thank you all for joining me. Uh, if you did like it, please like, favorite, comment, subscribe, all that fun shit. You know what people usually ask on YouTube. Good start to the week. I'm hoping Wednesday goes just as well. But uh, until then, follow us here at Hobby Fist. Have a good day. We'll see you again soon.